Hey, this video is about acupuncture and how it has helped me with my Parkinson's. I am probably a little bit more familiar with acupuncture than most people just because I have a lot of friends that are acupuncturists. I've worked with a lot of acupuncturists because I had a holistic wellness business. So I had um, previously um, used acupuncture for different things. A lot of times in my industry, my previous industry, we trade a lot. So if you have a license in something, um, then you would, you know, trade with the other person that also licensed. So through that, I got used to get a lot of acupuncture for different things. But it really does help me with Parkinson's and it helped me for my pain. So I started going out to an acupuncturist when my um, acupuncture was covered by insurance and I would go like once a week and that did help but not a great deal but once we switched to twice a week it really helped with my pain. I have pain with Parkinson's um, nearly every day and that's not unusual Parkinson's but not everyone has pain with Parkinson's interestingly enough. Um, but mine really does affect my quality of life. So I started out um, with my acupuncture being covered, but then I had to switch to another insurance and it was not covered. So a usual acupuncture session is anywhere from, from about $80 to $180. No, don't quote me on that. That's just a scale that I have noticed. But I'm in a place with a lot of acupuncturists. And, um, it does vary by state by state. Also what an acupuncturist can do varies by state and state because um, usually it's the, the state has um, different rules uh, about who can do acupuncture or what kind of training they need <clears throat> or even if they recognize um, the acupuncture training. But acupuncture is part of Chinese medicine. Chinese medicine is the second largest medical system in the world. I think a lot of people assume that there's only one kind of medicine, what they're used to, but really um, that kind of medicine is usually referred to as Western medicine. But there, I just want to talk a little bit about acupuncture. Um, I go to community acupuncture right now and that's like a, a different business setup than a regular acupuncturist. They do the same services. The difference is that with the community acupuncture, you're in a room with several other people. So that kind of enables the acupuncturist to lower the cost each session. Usually with the community acupuncture place also it's a sliding scale. So where I go, and, and again this is because i in an area that has a lot of acupuncture. Um, I'm on the Pacific Northwest so um, my sessions range from anywhere from I can pay $15 to $45. So I'm very, very lucky. Um, I'm on a limited budget, but because I have pain every day um, and the acupuncture does help, I make sure that I'm, you know, putting aside money to go to my acupuncture. So it is very important and they do charge me at the low end of the scale and I go twice a week. And when I went once a week, it didn't help me as much as twice a week. So what is a regular session like? I explained that you're in a room with other people versus like a room alone uh, if you're going to do the one session. Um, usually with, uh, if you're in a private room, you're going to like undress, like you're going to undress for a massage. But if you in a community room, obviously you're going to keep your clothes on. Um, they're usually going to want access definitely to your like arms. So make sure to wear something um, that you can push up if you're wearing sleeves or like have a, a top on with a jacket over so you can remove the um, jacket. They're going to usually want access a little bit to your um, neck and shoulder area. Um, also definitely your feet, that's a big area and um, make sure to wear something where they have access from your feet up to your knees. Um, a lot of people that haven't had acupuncture will ask if the needles hurt. They don't hurt me 
when they insert them. They're very fine needles. They're not like a needle that you're going to inject something. It looks like a thinner than a needle that you would use to sew with. Um, so yeah, they're real thin. So they go in, you, you don't feel that. Occasionally the acupuncturist will turn the needle and I can feel that. That's, but it's a different kind of pain. It, you know, it might hurt for like a second. Um, the other way the needles hurt, uh, that, let me see how to explain it. It's when they insert the needles and they're done and you're laying there and pretty much relaxing for up, up to the end of the session, which usually a session is about an hour. But if you move, the needles will hurt because the needles are going in and correspond with different areas of the body. So if you move it, it's no longer hitting that point. So we have to try and keep as still but relaxed as possible. Okay, back to insurance. Um, the reason why insurance usually doesn't cover acupuncture is that acupuncture is outside the realm of Western medicine. Um, it's considered Chinese medicine. There has been a lot of studies on acupuncture helping pain, meaning there's a lot of studies that Western medicine has done um, to prove that acupuncture does help with pain. So that's why you will find sometimes some insurance companies that will cover, um, cover the pain, especially now that there's a lot of attention on taking medication for pain. If you have pain for Parkinson's, I'm not an expert, but I don't see a lot of people that are on any pain medication. Because our pain is chronic, I don't think there's much they can do or that you would want them to do as far as currently what's available in pain medications um, because they're highly addictive. So yeah, that's about it for acupuncture. Um, let me close by saying that a lot of acupuncture, a lot of acupuncturists also do different things like they might massage, and this also depends on their licensing and again, and again the state. They might do cupping, which is that like suction um, cups that became trendy when um, it was done in the Olympics. Um, they also can, um, depending on their license, again, um, recommend herbs for you. Um, if they are recommending herbs, I would recommend that you check with your medical, Western medical doctor, or especially your neurologist, to make sure that is something that you can take while taking your Western medication. If you're not on any kind of Western medication for Parkinson's or anything, then you should still check with your doctor, but it's probably a lot more safer than if you are on Western meds, because a lot of times the Western meds and the herbal medicine do not mix. Okay, so that's all I have about acupuncture. If you have any questions, um, please leave them in the comment box. If you've had acupuncture and it has or has not helped you, um, you can leave a comment also in the box. And I'm hoping um, sometime soon to get one of my acupuncturist friends to do a little video on um, their thoughts about acupuncture and how it helps people.